Be Wealthy and Smart, episode 1085. into a world of wealth and financial freedom without budgets, boredom, or bosses on Be Wealthy and Smart. And now, here's your host, Linda P. Jones. Welcome to Be Wealthy and Smart. I'm Linda P. Jones, America's Wealth Mentor, empowering women and men worldwide to financial freedom. On today's show, we're going to talk about why real estate isn't going to crash right now. Because it seems like on every single article, in every video, everywhere I look, there is the prediction that the real estate market is crashing just like 2007 and 8. This situation that we're in right now is completely different from back then. And one of our problems is that there is a supply shortage. And when there is a supply shortage, it's very difficult to have a crash because you don't have enough supply and there's too much demand. Back in 2007, 8, 9, we had a fiasco of mortgages that were low quality mortgages given to just anyone and they really didn't have to qualify. So we had a plethora of homes out there that became available, massive supply came on the market and that ultimately is what caused the crash. This situation is very different because new home developments have not kept up with the demand and so the actual amount of houses that we need is far less than what is the equilibrium. For example, in California alone, 70,000 to 110,000 more houses should have been built between 1980 and 2010. But over the 30 year period, there's about three and a half million new homes in California that are needed by 2025 that there is a shortfall. So rather than seeing home prices come down, we're going to see them continue to rise just at a slower pace. And not all markets are the same. In some markets, housing prices have been discounted a little bit, but that's different from a crash. A crash is when there's massive supply, no one can sell their home without slashing the price, and they sit on the market for a long time. That's not the situation we have. In most cases, what we have is maybe they're sitting on that market longer, maybe they're not selling over the asking price with multiple bids anymore, but there's not a crash with massive supply on the market just sitting there, at least not in most cities. So when you have housing prices actually still going up just a little bit slower than they have, and you have restricted supply, you still have a strong housing market. And even though interest rates have gone up, mortgage rates are higher, yes, that has caused some people to put off their buying or to not be able to afford as much home but we're still not seeing a massive market correction, which would mean a 10 to 20% drop in value from a recent peak. We're not seeing that yet. I think we're still a couple years away from that, more in the 2024 to 2025 time horizon. Homes are still appreciating in general, just a little bit slower, but they are still appreciating because there's still a lot less supply. In the neighborhood I live in, the average number of homes for sale is about 60 out of 850 homes in the community. But right now we have six, not 60, but six homes for sale. That's pretty typical of what I'm talking about and what's happening with the housing shortage. There's a shortage of listings, a shortage of homes available way below the normal averages of how many homes you have listed. When you have that much of a shortage from the norm, it's very difficult to have a crash when there's just no inventory. So while it makes great clickbait and it makes for headlines that get you to read or to sign up for something, I don't think that it's realistic to say we're having a crash right now or that we're going to have a crash next year. Until the real estate equilibrium works its way out and new builders, new construction can get back on track because remember, we had lumber prices that were outrageously high for the last couple years, which really slowed down new construction. 
So we have new construction at a lower pace. We have a smaller amount of listings and still high demand with interest rates certainly higher than they have been, but lower than the averages of the long term in mortgage interest rates. We've been through crazy real estate cycles with interest rates at 16% on the dramatic side and rates near zero at the other extreme. Now to be around six to six and a half percent, while it doesn't feel great compared to where we were a year or two ago, it is more in the norm of the mid range. And it's actually on the low end of the mid range. So while you wanna keep your eye out for interest rates that could be fluctuating and trending lower, you also wanna keep your eye out for that right inventory and better pricing that may be occurring, even if it's not a deep discount. But in my opinion, the real bargains are gonna come right around the 2024 to 2025 period. That's when this equilibrium can work out much more and even turn the other way to have more supply than there is demand because eventually interest rates will continue to trend up over the next couple of years and that will slow the housing market more dramatically when interest rates get to a much higher level. According to Logan Matashami, lead analyst for Housing Wire, as recession talk becomes more prevalent, some people are concerned that mortgage credit lending will get much tighter. This typically happens in a recession. However, the notion that credit lending in America will collapse as it did from 2005 to 2008 couldn't be more incorrect, as we haven't had a credit boom in the period between 2008 and 2022. And that's exactly my point. And Selma Hepp, Deputy Chief Economist at CoreLogic, said higher mortgage rates coupled with more inventory will lead to slower home price growth, but unlikely declines in home prices. And I exactly agree with that conclusion. That's all for today. Until next time, live the good life and be wealthy and smart. Thank you for listening to Be Wealthy and Smart with Linda P. Jones. Share the wealth and tell your family and friends about the show. Check out our website, blog, and social media for more riches at www.bewealthyandsmart.com.